We're short. We're short. We are short. By how much? That's the kicker. By one student. <laughs> one student? One stupid student. The dean really thinks one student's going to make a difference? You know how anal he is with the budgets? The dean thinks that hiring one more student will solve all of our financial problems. <laughs> That's crazy. We finished all our interviews the last week. When does he want a recommendation back? Today. Today? Or we're fired. Or we're fired? Yeah, I guess he still blames us for putting in that pyromaniac who <laughs> burned down the science center. He had an amazing essay. How are we supposed to know? Yeah, well, uh, I guess we'll have to start looking through the waitlisted files. The waitlist? Oh, God. I mean, our backs are against the wall here. If you don't find a diamond in the rough, we're done. You're right. I'll start making calls. Keep your head up. I mean, the waitlisted kids can't be that bad. Oh, 
hardly know they're here. I, I'm sure they are, it's just I have a reputation at this school and I don't want to... Oh, don't worry. They'll blur your face. No one will even know it's you if you want. Plus, it's free publicity for the school. Well, I suppose. But you promise you'll blur my face and disguise my voice. Oh, yeah. I emailed you that contract. Oh, yes. If you just sign this and check this box, we'll make sure your license isn't used in any way. You know, it's not that she I... She signed it! Great, great, great. Hey, how you doing? Okay, Kim, you're making a college run, but remember what we talked about. I want you to be the next Jessica Simpson, the next fat guy in the biggest little bit, next to jail, okay? So up, up the office after. I want to be dumb, loud, and mean. I want to hate you so much that I can't turn away. Uh, hello. Ouch. Um, she said this was for a documentary. Cut! Come on, man. We're here to do our jobs. Let's do our jobs. But, no, she said this was a documentary. Yes, it's a documentary. A theory of documentary short film premiering on the T4, what, T4 Network, Tuesdays at 10 o'clock. The T4 Network, the Teen Reality Music Channel, the one with the spoiled teenagers and karaoke birthday parties. Great, you're a fan. Okay, just do your job and we'll be out of here. No, I, I can't be on that channel. Well, that's the problem, friend. If you don't do this, you'll be fined $20,000. $20,000. Well, look, I'm not asking you to do anything crazy. Just do your job. Ask a couple of questions, and we'll be out of your hair. Well, all right. Great. And Kim, remember what we talked about. Actions. So, Kimberly, uh, It's pronounced uh, Kim Bar L. <laughs> no E. Yes, I do. Great. <laughs> all right, Kim Bar L. So, uh, what made you interested in our university? Two reasons. On, First of all, to party. Second of all, to meet some totes hot guys. Like, totes and totes. That was good. <laughs> well, what kind of major are you interested in? What do you mean, major? You know, like a college degree? Give me the good stuff. What do you mean, degree? <laughs> like, how hot it is outside? You don't know what a college degree is? No, I'm totally dumb, but at least I'm not old like you. God, perfect, Kim. You were stupid, obnoxious, and a completely terrible person. Just the kind of thing we like to see on reality TV. <laughs> oh, if we do my confessionals, I should say how creepy the interview was. She was totally weirding me out. Yeah, I got some shots of her that we put in slow motion. We can make her really creepy. Hi, um, is the dean in? Could you ask him how he feels about the university appearing in a documentary? Thank you. Than that. 
Basically, out of my preparation, if I will, before I hopefully turn into a vampire. Turn into? Right. So I sleep in a coffin, avoid garlic, eat lots of white meat, chew with my fangs. All hopes in one day, if I'm diligent enough, I will hopefully turn into a vampire. Right. So, um, hey, what are you doing here? I mean, you shouldn't be out during the day, right? That's a common stereotype. Vampires, just like humans, can go on freely in the daylight without receiving a slightly irritation to the skin. Ah, so you're like one of those twilight vampires? Is that an attempt at humor? No, I... Because I don't find it funny at all. I find it pretty insulting and, frankly, pretty vampires. Vampires. Elizabeth, you are not going to turn into a vampire. There's no such thing as vampires. That may be the most insulting thing I've ever heard. No, I'm going to leave now! Uh, is this a joke? Did Saunders put you up to this? No. And when I get hold of the NVUA, you can have a public network relations on your hands. NVUA? National Vampires Union. Ha oh, oh, ha oh, oh. ha ha! All vampires are suspecting them in blood. Right. Well, you go say hello to Dracula and Blastad and all those other whiny Twilight kids. Because we're all in Chicago. Because we're all safe to you. Honestly, you're spending more at this university. <laughs> oh, hi. You must be Lily. Thanks hi. again for coming in on such short notice. Please, it was no trouble at all. So, um, let's just get right into it. Um, you know, what interests you? You know, um, what kind of hobbies do you like? Hobbies? I have a few, I suppose. I used to be really into swimming, but I haven't. Not since that day. You don't have to. I mean, only if you want to. No, it's okay. I want to. I, I need to talk about it. It was a blistering summer day. Bill Blakemore, Poughkeepsie's local weatherman, said it was one of the hottest days in recorded history, and he advised us to stay in at all costs. But I ignored his warnings. Swimming was my life, and life doesn't stop. Not even for a handsome weatherman with salt and pepper hair. I got to the pool early, put on my swimsuit, and started my morning stretches. It was during my warm-ups that I saw him. A little boy, fiery red hair, freckles sprinkled across his pale white skin, teetering on the edge of the pool. Before I could even think to warn him, he tumbled into the watery abyss. His body thrashed about violently, his eyes closed shut from the sting of chlorine, his mouth silenced from all the water he was swallowing. Jumped into the pool to save him. Lost touch, you know, that was the last time you ever spoke to her. <coughs> we had a falling out after that. 
Calling out? What, like a big fight, or? No, we just went our separate ways. It was mutual. <laughs> well, just to set the record straight here. So first, you saw Boy fall into a pool, who was almost immediately saved, and you lost touch with a close friend. These are the events that have shaped your life and caused you so much emotional distress. You weren't there. You don't know what it was like to be there and, and see it. Uh, I'm sure. Um, you know, thank you so much again for coming in. Um, and I know it's not my place, but maybe you should consider some type of, you know, therapy. <laughs> therapy. I went to a therapist once. It was a brisk autumn day, and I've been feeling optimistic. So, um, well, you've never been inspired to do anything? 
Well, I was watching the TV once, and it really got me thinking, you know? Like, almost in a motivated kind of way. <laughs> yeah, what was it? Well, I was watching the news, and there was this woman who went into a coma from a weird stroke. Doctors kept trying and trying to get her out of it, and they spent years trying to revive her. But they never figured it out. Oh, so this made you interested in healthcare or uh, medicine? No, this made me jealous. <laughs> this woman has to feed her and breathe for her. And they put the TV on all day. You know, sometimes breathing is just so much work. You know? <laughs> so this inspired you to be in a coma. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> What's the matter? I'm just tired. Hey, me too. Being accepted. 
I was intending to hear an answer today. Uh, oh, well, I can't give you an answer today. I mean, I don't have the authority to just... There are forces at play, dear friend. Forces you cannot possibly comprehend. But trust me, it is by, not just for me, but the entire student body and faculty that I'm enrolled in its fall semester. Many lives hang in the balance. You don't want to be responsible for the loss of lives, do you? <laughs> Uh, well, of course not, but how would me letting you in today save lives? The world is a series of connections and plans. Every human being affects another. Every decision has a consequence. And this decision, well, this decision will be the most important one you'll ever make. Beth, please, you're being incredibly vague. Besides, it's not as simple as me just letting you in. An oral agreement is legally binding in the state. So in fact, it is that simple. Well, I can't give you the answer today. And I have another prospective student coming in, so. No, you don't. <laughs> Your four o'clock canceled this morning. You don't have another appointment until Rebecca Smith's 445. Did you? Did you hack into my computer? OK. I don't know what happened here, but I'm going to have to call security. Hello? 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 Phone trouble? <laughs> <laughs> Doors are locked, and this time stories up, so the windows wouldn't be a very safe option either. <laughs> okay, who are you? A name is but a label, and I have many labels, but that is not important. What's important is that you tell me exactly what I was hoping to hear. Beth, I could if I would. It's just, please, I don't know. First chair at Chalice, 
president of the student council, member of the thespians, and treasurer for something called the Relief Club. It was a club formed by me and three friends as a public outreach. We do shelter meals, food drives, even build houses. There wasn't really anything like that at our school. Wow, well, Emily, we've got to tell you that you're... Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I don't leave my phone on normally, it's just this is my mom, and I told her not to call unless it was really, really urgent. Don't worry, it's fine, it's fine, please. I'm so sorry, I'll be quick. Hello, mom? Yeah, no, it's going fine. Any news? Oh my god. Oh my god, I got it. I'm officially an Ivy Leaguer. Ah! And, and, and the scholarship? Are you, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Mom, they hardly give out any money, you know, let alone a free ride. Oh my god, mom, I'm gonna cry. I, I know it's all happening. I, I have to go. I'm sorry. Bye. <laughs>